least with mama's input. And today I'm going to go over one of the most asked questions I've had in my channel. It's how to refill the Safety First Cool Mist 360 humidifier. It's a mouthful. Anyways, before I get started, please hit that subscribe button. Also that like button. Help a sister out. Also, still doing that... Uh, competition with my husband on subscribers and he's catching up real fast I think he has like 88 yeah and I have 114 so help me out I don't like for him to beat me on anything anywho so you might have seen my review on this I still really like this humidifier but the biggest problem I have with it is filling it up so Careful when you go to refill it, make sure it is unplugged because as we all know, water and electricity do not mix. So you just take the lid off and you will notice that it does drip a little. So I always suggest I do this in the bathroom or over a sink. So near a bathtub, I, I do mine in the bathtub to be honest. It's just easier to feel and if I spill stuff, it don't matter because it's in the tub. Slide this over. There is water in the base, so just so you know that. You don't think, oh crap, it's leaking, because I've done that. But it's not. That's just how it is. Uh, this little tube right here, please do not put water in it, because it will leak out the bottom. Done it. We will make a mess. There is a little, thank goodness, there is a little raised lettering that says fill here with an arrow. Now, when I first took this out of the box, I, I could not get it open. I thought, what the crap? This isn't made to open. Where do I put the water in? Eventually, you just kind of unscrew really, really hard, and it comes off. Oops. Water drips everywhere, so I have a towel. Eee! Anyways, so you got a little hole in it in the bottom. That's where the water goes. So, there's already water in it, because my husband just did a review. <laughs> and then you just pour the water. Like I said, it's easier to do under a sink or in the tub. Sorry, I'm pouring it, so I'm making sure I don't spill it. It's clumsy enough as it is. Usually, if we're filling it up for say our daughter's room, we fill it all the way up. But for review purposes, this is good as it gets. So then you screw the little knob back on. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So I screwed it back on, so righty tidy. Um, don't screw it too hard though. Cause then you can't get it back on. It's a little bit challenging. I accidentally did that for my husband. Oops. And when you're ready, careful, it still drips some water. So you just stick it back on here. Line everything up. There are some little arrows on the front, little markings to where you can line up and know that it's all good. So once that's lined up and you make sure that the tank is flush down in the base, you are ready to plug it up. Make sure there's no water on the cord because that could be very bad. And then you just whoop, turn it on. If it has a green light, that means everything's good to go. And if you have a red light, then something's up. You gotta check it out. Most of the time, it's you don't have enough water or that the tank isn't sitting down in the base correctly. So, um, I have had a few people say that all the mist from the humidifier causes like a little wet spot on their furniture. So just you might have it up a little bit too high, so check that out. Make sure, see if you can turn it down a little bit lower. Might just be too much humidity for that furniture that you have it sitting on. 
So maybe try moving it around to a different spot. Um, I have had people ask me about putting Vicks in it or essential oils. I don't use any of those things personally. I might should, but I don't. Um, I just use the just plain water. I just want the air moist so that my child's eczema doesn't really act up. Well, the good thing about this one too is it can rotate. I guess that's where the 360 comes from. It's pretty nice. Can you see me? <laughs> if you have any questions about it or any stories of yours that you need to ask questions about, please leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I try to stay on top of my questions or comments about it. Um, I do still like this one. I like it a lot. My daughter likes it because she likes this blue. And it's fun. You could probably use this as a fog machine. <gasps> I could set it at my front door at Halloween. How have I never thought of that? That way when trick-or-treaters come up, they just, well, I, crap, it's Alabama. I doubt it would work. It's too humid outside for it. I could try it though. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna do it. If you have some essential oils that you've tried and you like that's safe for your baby, Shoot, give me a comment. I want to try it out. I haven't been into any essentials, so I would love to see what all that's about. Like I said, make sure you do this in a bathroom or somewhere where you can't get your kitchen table wet. It's got cracks in it, so that sucks. Um, oh, they do have little filter fish, too, that they sell on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. You can stick it in there. And it'll help where you don't have to clean it out as much. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, how often do you clean yours out? And I'm like, oh, I probably don't do it as much as I need to. But um, Safety Verse recommends that you clean it out every tank. So each time you have to refill the tank, clean it out. I probably do mine every tank or two. Every tank or three. Every two tanks or three tanks. I got confused. So... I'll use it for two or three times and clean it out. When it starts looking dirty and dingy, that's when I clean it out. So, probably not the best idea, but it hasn't caused me any problems yet. Half the time I just forget or I'm too lazy. The lazy is probably the most real. Um, anywho, I will still leave a link. Let me turn that down. I'll leave another link to this in the description below so that way if you want to check it out on Amazon if you haven't already purchased it and um, check it out. I would suggest reading reviews on Amazon. I will leave a link for that little fishy too. That helps me out. Um, it also, the fish also makes the water smell cleaner so that helps. I do have a another humidifier that is, I believe it's the VIX humidifier I've had for a little bit longer than this one. I'll be doing a review on it as well. I wanted to try multiple products so that way I can see which one's my favorite. Right now, they're they're both pretty good. Um, this one's a little bit cheaper. Uh, the VIX is a little bit more expensive, but the VIX one also has like a little place for the VIX pad to go in. So that helps if your child is a little congested or... If you just need like a lavender scent to help soothe them, that helps. I, I've used those and that one, just not this one. Um, I don't believe that one has a filter either. So, but we'll, we'll be posting videos on how to clean them out, both of them. So if you have any questions on that or comments, we will be able to cover those and um, feel free to leave any suggestions on how to best clean this out and we will address that. We'll try several different techniques to see if it helps. I think I've covered everything. So um, before I say 
good evening. I will um, say don't forget to subscribe to Mama's Input. And also hit that like button if you thought that this video was helpful. I hope all the individuals who have commented about this have seen it. And I hope they found it helpful for their humidifier. Thank you for watching. Mama out.